What is going on, everyone? Badger here. Make sure to like and sub, and let's get into this. Uh, we just talked about this in a video the other day, and, well, here it is. Uh, we're talking about the Fallout TV show, which some of you didn't even know was coming out. Uh, there was a trailer about a year ago, but it was pretty short. Things changed, but here it is. Here it is. Yeah, got my vault boy. Always had. Yeah, and so full context, I have played all the Fallout games, including the, including the first couple of ones, which are, like, isometric, top-down. They're all right. They sort of hold up if you're into it. If you're into it. But, you know, once Bethesda took over, Todd Howard, Fallout 3, famously Mr. Tech Rat had no interest whatsoever, and I bought it for him. And it's like Fallout's one of his favorite game series ever, so that means this is probably going to be really important to him. Me too. Again, I played all of them. New Vegas, 4. This is, uh, we, we were talking about uh, Jonathan Nolan saying it's going to be like Fallout 5. Obviously, he's not saying this is Fallout 5, but it is going to be set in official canon. That's what Todd Howard has said. So let's let's see what we got going on. Hello there. I'm here to show you a wonderful place. A veritable Camelot, the nuclear age. Not made by God Almighty, but the working man. You can be a hero by purchasing a residence in a vault tech vault today. Because if the worst should happen tomorrow, the world is going to need you to build a better day after. The mission of the vaults should be important to everyone. To come up to the surface one day and restart civilization. Can you tell me what's happened in the last 200 years? Holy shit. You're an actual vault dweller. I am. <laughs> I thought all you dipshits were dead. What you're doing is insane. I don't set the world. It isn't like the vault out there. It's big. Higher. I just want to start. I've had a rough week. Practically every person I've met up here has tried to kill me. I'm simply going to harvest your organs. <laughs> you need to go home. You come from a world of rules, of laws. You should not be alone. There's the Brotherhood of Steel. Why did you join the Brotherhood? To hurt the people who hurt me? Obligatory diversity inclusion standard. Yeah, maybe he's a really good actor and it's a really full rounded character. I, I don't know. People are going to come after you. Ain't much stage clean up here, Vaulty. Well, now that is a very small drop in a very, very large bucket of drugs. You look out at this wasteland, it looks like chaos, but there's always somebody behind the wheel. Out at this wasteland, it looks like chaos, but there's always somebody behind the wheel. Well, unless that's just some random child he's picked up, of course they gave him a BIPOC daughter because everyone magically in TV commercials is if there's a white, it's it's always a white man and a black woman. They're always, it's always an interracial couple. Mandated. Can't unsee it once you see it. What is happening? Did you hear that? Probably straight white man scream like a girl. Yeah, sounds about right. What is happening here? Everyone wants to save the world. They just you got a real Ray and Finn, uh, real Ray and Finn vibe going on right now. 
You think he'll be screaming her name the, <laughs> the whole time, chasing after her, trying to say how much he loves her? I don't know. I don't know. Everyone wants to save the world. They just, just they disagree on how. There you are, you little killer. All episodes. Okay. All episodes. Ooh. All. So they're not going to do it out weekly like they did Reacher. Boy. That could mean either they have a super, like a boatload of confidence, or they don't have confidence and they're trying to skate quickly over thin ice. I'm going to have to think of process about that. Uh, there's a lot of red flags there. I'm sorry. Yes, we are at the fucking... We're unfortunately in the year where if I see a main that's a female and a bunch of diversity, equity, and all that, I immediately have to think of all the inclusion standards and how ham... We just had all the stories about Sweet Baby Inc. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, I have no goodwill whatsoever. I looked at a lot of red flags, a lot of girl boss moments. Uh, every white man looked sort of pathetic. Uh, just, just like Halo, it looked... Just like it looked great, looked like Fallout, sounded like Fallout, blah blah blah. And she seems far more likable than a Ray or a Captain, even though I liked Ray and Force Awakens. My, my my point is, could this show be amazing? Yes. If I looked at this trailer, not not knowing any of the things that we talk about, yes, I'd probably be very excited. But look, with The Witcher and even parts of Avatar, and certainly you know everything Amazon's doing other than Jack Reacher and 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 uh, Jack Ryan, Jack Ryan, Reacher and Jack Ryan, Terminalist, I just don't have any faith that they're accurately going to adapt it without inserting, inserting, inserting. You know what they insert? Not even the stuff that was always there. They can't even just put the the because clearly Fallout has a lot of not modern day politics, but a lot of satire that. That was the other thing. I didn't really see any 1950s satire. We'll see. Sort of opened it with Walter Goggins. Yeah, I, I've been hurt before. We've all been hurt before. I liked a lot of what I saw, and I'm worried about a lot of what I saw. Let me know what you think of this. And uh, yeah, should have liked, share, and sub. If you've done that, thank you. If you're going to do that, thank you. Yeah. Well, bye.